Welcome to 2 Minute Vape Reviews, where I tell you everything you need to know with no BS added in about 2 minutes. My name is Izzy, today we're doing one of the most popular atomizers out right now. This is the Dark Horse Clone RDA. The Dark Horse RDA clone is originally manufactured by Steam Angel Technology, and is now cloned by iVogo. The Dark Horse is a cloud chaser's dream. I got my clone off of eBay for around $30. The clone came inside a tiny cardboard box that included the atomizer, a 510 drip tip adapter, a stainless steel drip tip, and a little parts bag that also had two micro coils inside. The look is nice and sleek, made out of stainless steel with a nice polished finish. Only the Dark Horse picture is engraved on the side. This atomizer is 22mm wide, so it sits flush on all your 22mm mods. It's a 1-on-1 clone that offers a copper positive pin and a gold plated center post for connectivity, but from what I can tell, the negative posts are not milled into the deck like the original. Although they don't spin or anything, saying this is 1-to-1 one -one is a blatant lie. On the build deck, we have a tri-post design making dual or quad coils easy. The posts themselves are square and have huge post holes, measuring out to be around 2.7mm. So like I said, all of you who like to sub and build with large or parallel wires, fitting them into this is easy. The included Phillips head screws are large, so stripping isn't really a problem. Around the deck you have a small juice well, and surprisingly I rarely had any problems with leaking, compared to other atomizers. <coughs> Bloomville. <coughs> the top cap is also one of this atomizer's main selling points, offering so much airflow options. The inner barrel has two huge square holes, and also offers two line cutouts on each side of the squares. The outer ring comes with three large vertical cutouts. This means airflow possibilities are endless. When going dual or quad coils, you can place the outer barrel wide open on both sides and close it down to your liking. And if you like to roll with single coils, you can. You can adjust the outer ring to cover those line cutouts so that you only have one side of the ring open, then adjust to your liking. When you flip the outer ring, you can cut the air slots in half and only have a horizontal cyclops style airflow. This is what I like to use. Up top we have the huge nylon drip tip, taking ideas from the chuff enough drip top, this makes dripping without taking the whole top cap off easy, and provides great airflow if you want a cloud chase. Having it made out of nylon means heat transfer is very, very minimal, and I haven't had many problems with juice spinning back at me, which you would think would be happening. You can unscrew the drip tip to add the 510 drip tip adapter, so all your favorite drip tips still work, and the adapter acts as a heat shield, so your drip tip won't absorb as much heat. Flavor off of this thing is good, it's no bagma or k-fun, but the large posts keep the innards condensed so flavor is still intense, just not the greatest. If you're looking for flavor, definitely not the atomizer you're looking for. The build I have is using the coils that came with it, which are once again surprisingly awesome. Ohming out to around 0.2-0.3 ohms, these coils give you a nice sample of what the Dark Horse is all about. Overall the Dark Horse clone is an awesome dripper, offering a huge variety of airflow options, large post holes that fit anything you throw at it and it incorporates the drip top very well. This atomizer proves itself to be one of the best cloud chasing atomizers out right now, with the only cons being the non-milled negative posts and the subpar flavor. I give it a 4.4 out of 5 stars. Once again, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more. My name is Izzy, and this was your 2 Minute Vape Review.